Do you have nagging and lingering elbow pain that just doesn't seem to go away? Well, if you do, this video is for you. And today we're gonna talk about the elbow and kind of its function when it comes to what we're trying to accomplish in the gym. So the elbow is a fairly simple joint. It really only moves in flexion and extension. So when you're doing like a bicep curl or a tricep extension, there's a little bit of a rotational component when it comes to pronation, supination. There's a little bit of influence at the elbow joint, but it's primarily just flexion and extension. So if you have elbow pain, this can be with pressing. This can be with extension. It can be with a whole lot of different things. It could even be with abduction of the shoulder, like you're doing a dumbbell lateral raise. If you have any of those issues, these exercises that I'm about to show you are gonna be very helpful for you to alleviate that elbow pain. So the first concept and the first exercise that I wanna introduce you to is what we call treating the container. So anytime you have a musculoskeletal injury, it's a good idea to start with just treating the area where you have the pain. And we call that treating the container. And so what you see me doing here is I've just taken a towel and I went over to one of the, the easy curl bars or the straight bars, and I just am just mashing my forearm extensors, so the top of my forearm against the bar. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna help kind of untack some of those extensor muscles that honestly don't get used a ton when it comes to bodybuilding and the stuff that we do in the gym. And so sometimes those things get real tacked down to the bone and we just need to liberate some of that soft tissue. So doing this for a minute or two, just to kind of get in there and move some of that stuff around is a really good starting point. This might even alleviate some of your elbow pain. So it's always a good idea to test what motion hurts your elbow and then retest it after you apply an intervention. It's called the test retest method. So do this, get in there, untack down some of those forearm extensors, then go retest whatever movement usually hurts your elbow, see if there's a change. If not, I want you to move on to just a simple forearm extensor stretch. And this is just, you're gonna do this in quadruped or on all fours, and you're simply just gonna oscillate back and forth from one arm to the other. Even if your other arm isn't injured or your other elbow isn't injured, it's a good idea to just stretch these extensors out. Like I said before, they just don't get used all that often, and it's good to just apply a little bit of treatment to both. Doing this for a couple sets of 20 breaths is usually what I recommend. Oscillate back and forth, take 20 deep breaths, and that's usually sufficient. The next thing I want you to do is what we call a terminal elbow extension. And as you can see, I have a band that's anchored to a surface that won't move. From here, I'm gonna loop that band right above the elbow joint, and I'm just going to allow the band to take my arm into flexion, and then I'm going to fight the band as I move the elbow joint into extension. So this is forced extension through resistance. And what this is gonna do is it's going to kind of free up what we call the capsule that's around the elbow. The elbow has a capsule of, of cartilage. The elbow has a capsule of soft tissue and ligaments around it to protect it. It keeps the joint itself lubricated. And sometimes that capsule gets a little tight on us and it gets a little irritated when we're not accessing specific ranges of motion. And how often are you in full elbow extension? Not that often, except probably when you're in the gym. So that could be why your elbow is hurting. So we just want to get in there, try to move that elbow through flexion and extension through a little bit of resistance. The next exercise we're gonna cover is resisted pronation and supination. And as you heard me say earlier in the video, there is some influence over the elbow when it comes to pronation and supination. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a dumbbell and you're just gonna hold it by the bell and you're simply going to, you're, and you're gonna, so you're gonna take a dumbbell, you're gonna hold it by the bell, stabilize the forearm on a surface, like I have the preacher curl here, and then you're just going to oscill, and then you're just going to rotate that dumbbell, and then you're just gonna turn that dumbbell over the top of your forearm, and you're gonna move back and forth through pronation and supination, trying to really, strength, trying to really tax those forearm extensors. As you can see, there's a theme here. The forearm extensors are the target tissue that we're attempting. And as you can see, there's a theme here. And as you can see that there is a theme here with the forearm extensors, 
we're really trying to attack these things. Like I said before, they're just muscles that don't get used that often. And when we underuse muscles, sometimes they tend to revolt on us and cause things like elbow pain. So we're just gonna move through here. Two to three sets of 10 repetitions is usually sufficient. And then I want you to follow this exercise up with some simple wrist curls into extension. Same thing here, you're just going to allow the dumbbell to kind of roll down into flexion. And then I want you to bring your wrist up into extension, squeeze at the top, two to three sets of 10 repetitions here. Again, we're trying to strengthen the forearm extensors, the muscles that just don't get used that often. And there you go. There's a few exercises to keep in your tool bag. So when those elbows start to flare up, you can apply these exercises and feel better soon.